everyone, I'm Ellen um, with the Stomping Grounds. We're a small retail store in Pearl, Mississippi. I'm here with Morgan. She's the cameraman today. Hey! <laughs> um, today I'm refinishing a, an old storage trunk that I've had forever. Um, so I'm working on that. And during the course of this video, we're also going to have a giveaway going on. Um, so if you want to show them, we're giving away two pints of all-in-one decor paint, an eight ounce bottle of hemp oil, which I'm also gonna demo in this video, and an oval brush. And if you're interested in any of these products that we use today or any others, you can go to www.countrysheetpaint.com and use our coupon code STOMPIN10. It's S-T-O-M-P-I-N-1-0. So, Stomping ten. Stomping ten. I guess we can give everybody like a minute to kind of get on. Yeah. We've got thirteen. Um. So I'm using licorice. It's like a black color. And actually, the trunk that I'm painting was originally black. It's like a black leather. Um. And I I don't mind the color that it is now, but um, I must have gotten this when I was. Like a toddler so it has seen better days. I'm gonna show on the trunk. It has drawings all over it. Um, some of you can't see at this angle but um, we went to town on this thing when we were little. Um, so it's needing some love. Um, so I'm gonna use that and then I'm also going to use uh, Hey Nadia! to seal it um, once I finish painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this. Oh and before you start Make sure you shake it up. Um, make sure because it's clay based, so it kind of separates a little bit. Shake it up. Yeah, you can shake that up. It'll kind of settle a little bit at the bottom, but it's like shake it up. It's a nice consistency. Yeah. We we love. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Haley. <laughs> we got a lot of people on. And start off small because this this stuff actually has great coverage, so. Well, while she's mixing that up, y'all just tell us where y'all are from. Um, like she said earlier in the video, we're from Pearl, Mississippi. Um, we've really enjoyed being a part of the Country Chic community. Um, we love the paint. We do classes with it. Um, we sell it and stuff like that. We really, really enjoy it. Hey, guys. How are y'all? <laughs> and I'm using uh, one of their new brushes. It's an oval brush. And what I love about this brush is that it doesn't leave strokes. Um, on the finished product, you can't even tell that I used a brush on it. Um, and that's Ooh, we got some Canada. Way. That's cool. Florida. Florida. Yeah, y'all go ahead and give us I some hearts and likes. Yeah, we, 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 we love the trunk. This is uh, one of Ellen's um, heirlooms. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows that I love this trunk. I cannot part with it. Yes. So, this is a long time coming. And um, she went with black. She said the original color was black, so um, she's kind of bringing it back to where it was. But y'all tell us what kind of color y'all would like on it, you know. Um, for those of you just tuning in, we are doing a giveaway. Uh, two pints of the all-in-one decor paint and the hemp oil and the oval brush, which I'm using right now. <clears throat> And this trunk had like a little bit of a sheen to it, so she kind of, um, she sanded it down just a tad. Yeah, always sand. Hey, 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 we got a lot of Canada. This is awesome. Awesome. And I didn't put tape over this over the metal parts. So I'm actually going to um, order some of their metallic cream uh, to go over that later. So I'm just going to try to avoid it as much as I can. Darcy. Hey, Darcy. She says she has a similar trunk. I have one too, and I did mine in like a, it was like a, an olive color with a dark wax. Ooh, that'd be pretty. Yeah. I really liked it. Hey. 
The pea coat with the brass hardware. Ooh, yeah. Okay, Betty. Metallic cream is fabulous for the hardware. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never used it, so, uh, but I've heard good things. And I'm no pro, so obviously, like, anybody can do this at home. Mm-hmm. I really like the black. I think it's very modern. And if you know Ellen and her personality, it's very modern. <laughs> I like the cat's meow, personally. <laughs> it's very bright. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think Morgan had wanted me to do something with my friend. Hey, Lindsay. Love the accent. <laughs> and yeah, Ellen's actually from Maryland. Um she came down here and she's been a part of our store um she actually went to school down here so uh as far as the prep you know um this this has already been painted so she kind of just took off the sheen and the wax coat um but this paint actually does really good um and then when you kind of give it a wax a covering the top coat it's it's great um i have a yeah all i did was a light sanding just so i could grab a little bit mm -hmm. um it's like a white or wet cloth and clean it off. It. Okay, wait. I'm sorry. I'm moving this so much. I have an old. Yes, that would be cute, Melanie. What she said she wants something with like the um. It's her old banker's desk. She wants to put the red underneath it with the licorice on top. I think that'd be so cute. Do you need to put yes we are going to put we're going to put some of the hemp oil as a top coat um honestly this paint's pretty like kind of however you want it we've done like wooden signs and um we had we just kind of left it a little chalky you know it looks good without like any kind of covering over but um the hemp oil actually polymerizes it so um it, it's a nice look it's a really nice look and then it'll work as well as wax but mm -hmm. um it's just, it'll like deepen it a little bit and it's also one of the great things about the, the hemp oil is that it's all natural so it has no chemicals um, so you don't have to worry about like breathing in anything you don't want to be breathing in and as you can see it's covering very nicely And this paint, it covers, um, it covers really well, um, so you don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. I want y'all to see this coverage. It does great. And that's just, that's one, one coverage. And this is a very light blue, as you can see, Ellen's young drawing <laughs> it's coverage is great it. yes brandy said i love how i always say um there in mississippi i probably say um a lot <laughs> i know that's not a uh, speech etiquette <laughs> and that oval brush does good it, it covers i mean you can turn it sideways but i mean like it, it as soon as it dries, I mean, you can, like, you see streaks, but when it dries, you can't see anything. Like, there's nothing underneath, no matter the color underneath. How many coats do you do? Ellen's done, I mean, you could do two coats, but honestly, it probably wouldn't even need it, you know? And if this is over yeah. a light blue. The thing is, you don't want to put too much weight on it. Like, you kind of let the weight of the paint pull you. Um, that way you don't have to, you won't be spreading it too thin. Hey, Angela. Uh, for those of you tuning in, uh, to enter for the drawing, all you have to do is comment um, like a project you want to be working on um, or that you plan to be working on. And the, uh, the door prize is two pints of all-in-one decor paint, what I'm using, um, and hemp oil and this oval brush. And if you like any of the items that are shown in this video, and they have uh, tons of other colors and stuff like that too, you can log on to, make sure I say this right, 
www.countrychicpaint.com and then you can use the um, the promo code um, for a 10% off and it's stompin10 and that's S-T-O-M-P-I-N 10. And I'm curious, what kind of colors would you guys use? Because I'm super plain Jane, so I'm going with black. Morgan votes cat's meow. <laughs> I would love to do one of those trunks. I'm curious what other people would use. That's actually what I do with my, my trunk. I have like pillows on top of it and I use it as like an ottoman <laughs> and it's super cute. Um, Heather, she really didn't do much prepping. Um, it's already been painted once. Um, so she just kind of sanded it down to take off that top sheen to kind of give it a little bit of grip for the paint to stick on. Um, and that's really about it. Yes, yeah, Cheesecake and Sage. We actually did a, um, a little short video for our um, retail page. And we did like some, um, what are they? The um, frames. And mm -hmm. we, um, we used those colors. Tiffany blue, we like that too, yes. Peacoat. Yeah, we had somebody else who liked the peacoat, Robin. Is that like a blue? Yes, the code for the um, promotion for um, the 10% the off, it is Stompin' 10. 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 Stompin' 10.
and um, I used a light, lighter green color and I painted it with a dark wax and it kind of made it olive and it was really really cute and I just had some really big pillows and put them on top and used it as an ottoman and I have it kind of in the middle of my room and I love it um, we're only gonna sh I think she's doing one coat one coat covers it really nicely like if you can see um, Nadia like one this is just one coat and she did the bottom so she can go ahead and show y'all how to do the um how the hemp oil reacts with the um the paint so when we flip it we can kind of show y'all what one coat looks like dry Deborah says she loves this trunk me too Deborah. hey Teresa um she did sand first um she just kind of took that sheen off and when you sand it you can just kind of get that um kind of the top layer off so that the paint sticks and, um, and then just kind of wipe it down with a wet rag or towel, let it dry, and then you're free to paint. Rocky Mountains. Oh, she's <laughs> talking about... You have three trunks. Yeah, my trunk is ancient, like super ancient. Mine might have been older than Ellen's. Mine actually smelt like an old trunk, you know? Oh, like, this one's old. Yeah. It smells, <laughs> like, it smells like the 90s. Mm-hmm. Not that that's old or anything, but it was old for me. That would be nice, Amanda. Hey, Glenda. Showing us some love. We really appreciate it. Yeah, give us some hearts and likes. And also, if you share this um, to your page, uh, your friends can also comment and enter to uh, win the door prize. And the door prizes... This is what the door prize is. You get two of the, make sure I'm reading this right. Two of the paints, you get some hemp oil and then an oval brush. Do, you, do they pick what color they want? Um, probably. We love, yes, this this is a dark color. Ellen likes, she's like very modern. Her room and everything like that is modern, so it looks good. It looks like a pirate's treasure chest. Uh, and yeah, to the, they, yeah, you can pick the colors, awesome. So you will be able to pick your colors. Um, you wanna bring us around to the, like, the back? Okay. All right, now Ellen's gonna do the back. I'm just gonna kind of walk over with her while she does this. I want you to see this. And you can kind of see like she has, you can just see it scuffed up. So where it was like the darker blue, it'll kind of just like take that top sheen off where the paint just, it just hugs it just a little bit better. Yeah, this brush works really, really good. This is the oval brush. I think it's a one and a, how thick is that? One and a half. One and a half inch, and it works really good. And it's, no, you can't see brush streaks once you're finished and the paint dries, and it dries really, really well, and it looks good. This color is licorice. It's a nice, I don't want to say it's like black black, but it's like almost like a, like an ashy black in a way. It's a warm black, a warm color black. Ooh, an ombre trunk. That's, mine would be too colorful for that <laughs> if I did it. I'm sure it can be done though. I don't doubt anything. Denise, yes, just jump out there, girl. Go and get you some paint. Redo your table. She's wanting to refurbish the living room table. This black would be nice. I need this. Black to goes well with anything. Mm-hmm. Ooh, see, that's more like me. Glenda said she's doing a salmon coral china cabinet. That sounds more like something that would be in my house. How do you clean the brush? 
Ellen? Warm water. She, Ellen sets her brushes in like water to set. Um, so she just kind of keeps it in water and like let the paint come off and the then you can just thing, wash it. The only thing you don't want to do really, it doesn't matter how you clean it, um, you just don't want to like jam it down like that or use really hot water because then it could loosen up the glue um, to where the brush, like the bristles will come loose. So warm water is good. Hey guys. <laughs> Deborah said, my husband said my style is very spastic. You know, that sounds about like me, too. <laughs> if you walked in my room, I have nothing that really matches. Everything is just <laughs> different colors. Leanne said she likes the black so much better. I do, too. I liked the blue, too. It was nice. Um, I do. The black just looks clean. Linda, yes, please try it. We have been super, super happy with this paint, and it does really good in our store here in Mississippi. Um, like I said, it's such a great um, community, the um, the country chic community. We love it. Victoria says, I have an entertainment unit and a cabinet I need to repaint. Do it, girl, do it. Yes, Christy. <laughs> She needs to be brave and give up some of her energy so a new life. <laughs> I like, I like, and the thing is, like, I never want to throw away any of my furniture, you know, like, just a, a new coat of paint, it's a whole new thing, whole new ball game. Uh, Heather, she's actually leaving the brass like it is, um, but I, on my trunk, I painted over mine and then took like my fingers and kind of like just smudged it and like rubbed it off in some areas. And it was actually really, really cute. But like I said, mine was a lot more rustier than hers. Um, hers actually doesn't have that bad of a color, so she's going to leave it. Thanks, Teresa. And like I said earlier, Country Chic also has a uh, metallic cream that I'm going to get yeah, put over this later. Yeah. Nadia, what color are you doing your dresser in? Thank you. We like the licorice. Dark roast is nice too. Um, we use the dark roast on a, one of the um, frames too. It's like a, a say, like a, I don't want to say sagey, sagey coffee. It's like a very, how would you describe that? It's just like an espresso or something. I love that one too. The bliss. I like the bliss. Elaine, that would be pretty. See, you're more like me, like the bright colors. But I like the black too. I like the black. The licorice looks really, really good. Yeah, and she's only poured so much paint, and she still has a ton of it left, you know, and she has done the whole front and basically the back side. Yeah, like, Brandy, we have, we have loved this paint. We do. I redo furniture all the time, um, and we sell it here in the store, and I absolutely love it. Elaine said she would like to paint her old chest, but she likes the old look. My old look. Mine, her, Ellen's is actually in a lot better shape than mine was. Um, mine was like chipping, like the like the fabric was kind of like coming off too. I guess that's what you'd call it, but nothing like a new fresh paint paint job. Yes, so many colors to choose. You are correct, which is good. I mean, they have a nice selection of colors and fit anybody's personality, any home theme that you have. They really do. And you can double up on the colors too. Um, we are using, I think, how many ounces is that? Um, yeah, this whole trunk wouldn't even need the, um, 
I could like, like a pint. Thing on a pint. Yeah, and still have some left over. Like you, you really don't need that much. And this is just one coat, you know. Even like two coats, you could probably finish the whole thing with um, a pint. You want you doesn't take much. And exactly, Linda. You just have to paint it. And if you don't like it, guess what? Just paint over it again. <laughs> hey, Brandy said you have mad painting skills. I would love oh, to thanks. paint over. <laughs> I would have painted over the brass. I've, I've gone on, on it a little bit. It's okay, though. How many different brushes do we need? Depending on the project. Um, I mean, like if you were doing something a little smaller maybe doing a different brush but this I like this brush this brush is really good and she's even getting in like tight corners and stuff like that with this sable brush the way you turn it and position it in your hand you can kind of like get it in those um corners okay yeah these chests are coming back now like I I like mine I love mine I got mine in the yard sale for like $50. Repainted it and it looks brand new. <laughs> the metallic cream, yes, it is great. I'm trying to make sure I catch up on everybody's comments. Yeah, We're so glad y'all are coming on and commenting. If any of you want to follow our page, um, I'm going to do the metallic cream later. Marlene says she has an old table to refurbish and a trunk. I picked out that was, has been painted a bad yellow. Oh gosh. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Christy, there are several shades of blue. Um, Bliss is like a lighter blue and the cat's meow. That's one I like. It's like a, a deep, um, kind of a turquoise color. I, I think that's probably my favorite color they have. But you can always check the... Um, the Country Chic um, pay page, and you can see all the colors that they offer. Okay. The top. Right, I'm gonna or, Becky, um, you could just, or you can do like me, just throw you some pillows on there. You can't even see the top, or unless you're using it for something else, you know. But that's a, that's a good question. If anybody has any ideas for Becky... <laughs> my husband's getting flustered she said I have so many uh, many um, pieces that she just picked up um, yes Linda me too that would be me I, I mean I like the um, the look without the um, it on the metal but if you I don't know it just does something like it kind of like makes it blend a little bit better I need one of those brushes yes you do yeah, and I like I know y'all can see that. Here, I'll go around on this side and show y'all. This this coverage is off awesome. This is it drying, and it looks it's super good. It looks brand new, and this trunk is how old, Ellen? I don't know. All I know is it's been in my family since I could remember. So. And this is what it's coming from, if y'all can see that. And it looks it looks really good. Yes, they have several different um, size brushes if you were doing like a smaller project or something like that. Yeah, check out their page, see what all they offer. And if you like it and you want to get something, you can um, go pick it out and use the promo code STOMPIN10 and get a 10% off. Our page is, you can follow us, it's the Stomping Grounds and we are getting some metallic paint and Ellen's going to put that on the trunk. So if y'all want to kind of see the finish finished project, please like our page and check us out and um, you can see the, the ending, the end result. No, Sonia, we have not um, added any water. This paint is a clay based paint. Um, I, I personally love it. When you first get it, I, I always shake it up because like the consistency, because sometimes mm -hmm. the clay will kind of settle at the bottom. Yeah. 
you shake it up and it, it gives like a great consistency and everything mixes and blends just nice and this is just one coat one coat of her painting and it covers real nicely and we're, cover, we're covering over a lighter color too so you know sometimes in certain paints you cover over a light color you can kind of see it seeping through with the brush but we're using this oval brush and it doesn't leave any streaks the um the paint has great coverage no water needed sonia <laughs> that's us too heather we we need to make more time for our projects <laughs> we're glad we're getting to do that she's been wanting to paint this trunk for so long and we you know have, yeah. what better time than now Um, this uh, it, it doesn't take long to paint we're actually kind of just you know taking our time no rush but um, it really doesn't take long it probably won't take longer than 30 minutes to do this and as you can see like from when we first started this side's already drying so it dries really fast you want to give it 12 hours though at least um, before you like put a wax coating or the hemp oil because the wax like you mean you, you kind of once you once you apply it you wipe it off so you want to make sure the paint's dry so that you're not wiping off any of the paint um, to make sure you have like you're still your even coat of it and now you can see this coverage I'm gonna go around the back. It looks like a whole new trunk. It does. It looks completely different. And that's just one coat. And you see how, like, right now you can see streaks. When this dries, you can't see any streaks. You won't be able to see anything. That's just like certain spots drying. But that oval brush is really good. JT says, awesome project. We agree. And this oval brush also comes in uh, a two inch. This is a smaller size. Would the clear glaze work as a top coat at all? I do believe so. I have not played with the um, the clear coat. I like doing the wax or the hemp oil, um, but I it sounds like that would work. Does it dry lighter? Yes, it does dry lighter. Um, it 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 not. I mean, it does, but it almost gives it like a chalky look. So, here, let me try to turn this light more this way so y'all can see it. I don't know if that's helping but it just takes the sheen off it's still really dark but when it's wet it just looks a little darker if you can see that but when you add the wax and stuff like that it darkens it a little the dark wax would just kind of give that antique but it'll make it look even darker this one is chalky yeah i'm trying to read all these Heather said, very nice. Yes, we love the color too. Thank you so much. I want to tell you, okay. That would be pretty, Glenda. Very pretty. Kelly said, looking good. Hey guys, and if y'all are just now coming on, um, we're just using some of the licorice color paint. I'll show y'all that. And we're using a big one, but we've done some other projects here in the store with it. But you don't need that much paint. A pint will cover this and more. Um, it's great coverage. Ellen's using an oval brush. And what I like about the oval brush, it's got two little notches kind of close towards the um the bristle bristles and it's great for like holding it it's almost like it fits in your hand like a glove it's really nice 
and the brush leaves no streaks. It gives the paint has got great coverage. So really it's just, you know, it's a win-win all the way around. And if y'all are just now getting on also, um, if y'all like any of these products, y'all can go to country, www.countrysheetpaint.com and use the promo code STOMPIN10, STOMPIN with an I-N, 10, and um, you can purchase any of these um, items. We're also going to be giving a giveaway, so comment to win. We're giving away, I'll show you while she's painting. They're giving away two pints of the paint and you can pick out whatever color. Um, this right here is just cranberry sauce and um, Sunday tea, which we like both. Um, and then you're going to get an eight ounce of the hemp oil, which Ellen's going to be um, demoing here in the video. And also a oval brush, which she's using now, one and a half inch. I actually really like that cranberry sauce color. Has yeah. anyone used it on any projects? Cause I love it, but I don't know what I would paint with it. Um, so give me some ideas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Glenda said <laughs> her phone's done. She really hates to miss this. Oh, Glenda. We'll share it. So you'll be able to watch it anytime and then keep up with us at the end. Marianne said um, ombre with cranberry and lazy linen. That would be beautiful. That would be really pretty. It does sound pretty. Hey, Carla. Yeah, so glad y'all are watching this and part of this too. We, we absolutely love this paint. Um, and we do really well with it in stores. So this has been, it's been really cool. Um, our store here is in um, Pearl, Mississippi. And we are, we do like retail, but we have art classes. So we use this paint for classes. We do like wooden signs. Um, we do any of our paint that we use, we use this paint. So it's been, it's been really good. It's great coverage. We've used it over wood. Ellen's using it over this old trunk. And it's always done really, really well. So Ellen's going to, with our limited time, um, once we get closer to the end of the video, um, she's going to show you all the hemp oil on the side that she's already had dried. So she painted one side so that she could show y'all. Um, and then she's going to kind of show you how the oil polymerizes with the clay base paint for a nice like finish. Michelle says she loves these colors. I do too. <laughs> Tracy says she likes it too. A pie safe would be pretty with cranberry. Yes, that would be cute. My mom has a um, a china cabinet where she kept, collects um, plates and stuff like that, and I think that would be pretty. But I'd paint like the inside with like a different color than the outside. I love that look. Yes, this is a great giveaway, y'all. This is this is super cool. So they're giving away two pints of any color of your choice. Um, an eight ounce um, of the hemp oil and an oval brush. And if you like any of this stuff that's in this um, video, please go to their page, www.countrysheetpaint.com and you can use the promo code STOMPIN10, S-T-O-M-P-I-N-10. Oh, that's nice, Becky. She said, I mix four parts of cranberry sauce and one part of dark roast for a dark farmhouse friendly red. I bet that's beautiful. Never really thought of like mixing the colors together. Yeah. Amanda said, I never thought about painting the inside of my chest. Hers is, my chest actually has got like some cloth and Ellen's, I'm not sure what's on the inside. But just imagine a china cabinet, like the outside like a red and then the inside something bright and fabulous. <laughs> just to kind of offset it. I love, I like that look. Here, I'm going to kind of show y'all, like she's brushed over the, um, I guess you'd call that brass. And the look that it gives is really, really cool.
Like I, I like the way that looks. And this side's drying really nicely as you can see. We still got a little wet spots, but that's all right. And this is the side she just completed. And just giving it that like antique kind of look by like painting over the brass a little bit. I like that. I think that looks really good. Not purposeful, but it works. <laughs> yeah, right? A beautiful accident. Happy mistake. Yeah. Uh, used to call it. But I am going to go over it with the, with the metallic glaze. <laughs> Brandy said, my husband came in and said, what part of the south is she from? <laughs> I told him Mississippi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying to convert Ellen's um, accent. Yes, we're so glad y'all like the tutorials. We enjoy doing these. And we get a nice cute chest at the end of it. Um, she said, Angela said, would using a country chic sponge use more paint? I've always gone for the brush, um, just because I'm most comfortable with it. But I think, like, the sponge overall will kind of give it its own finish. I don't that, know to, it's like, just more, it's more porous. Um, I don't think, um, I think you can kind of control how much paint you use, no matter what you use. Um, the brush just gives it a different finish like she said the sponge gives it a different kind of like texturized look oh a marble look would be yeah that would look really cool like there's no such thing as accidents in crafting just new opportunities that's a positive way to look at i it. love it all right if you want to set that down so you can help me move this Okay, and I'm about to set the um, the camera down really quick, and um, we're going to flip this trunk over. Make sure I have it in a, a good spot. So y'all can see the bottom. So she can do the hem pull. And we just have like a tiny little fan here that we're just kind of blowing it to kind of speed up the process, but it does, and it really don't take that long to dry. Mm -mm. And there are rubber tiles right there. Yeah, I don't think I got any on me. Alright, so this is the finished section. I'm going to get and a little closer so y'all can see that. Nicely. It did. Um, and this is just with the paint, so it's a clay base, so it's it's a chalky look. Um, I mean, you can leave it just like this. I like this on certain stuff. Um, but the hemp oil looks really good. The waxes look really good. I mean, the metallic coats. You really can't go wrong with anything in my eyes. But um, we use certain, like, home decor signs. And we'll just do paint with no, you know, no covering over it. And it looks just as good with, like, the, um, the chalky look. So, Ellen. Let me make sure I'm reading everything. So if you want to look at the, it has like a little bit of a greenish tint. It's not going to make your project green though. It, it'll just deepen the color. Welcome, Andrea. Right, and this stuff also, even more so than the paint, will go a long way. So you don't need to use that much. I actually probably poured too much in here. Um, but yeah, this stuff can refinish wood. Um, no, I'm shaky, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> bare or painted. So you can use the hemp oil on bare wood or like I'm doing over paint. Sherry Lynn Cheesecake is a really nice color. I like that. That's like Ellen. She likes the classic looks on stuff. Deborah said she loves it. How long to dry? Heather. Um, Ellen, she, you know, she's a, she's a by the rule. She'll wait 12 hours. Mine, I'll just wait until it, like I can rub my hand over it and make sure it's dry. <laughs> but um, if you want to, you know, make sure you do it right. Twelve hours. She we left her. She left hers overnight. So we did that yesterday and came in today and um, it was completely dry. And so what you'll do is you'll leave this for twelve hours, um, and then you'll go back and rub off the excess oil. 
And if you're just now coming in, we are, um, they're giving a giveaway. You get two pints. I'm going to kind of pan over here. Two pints of whatever country sheet color paint that you want of your choosing. Um, they're giving away an eight ounce um, of the Hempel and an oval brush, which the Hempel is what she's using now. And the brush is what she used to paint if you um, didn't get to see that. And uh, if you like any of these items and you want to purchase them for yourself, you can go to www.countrychicpaint.com and use the promotion code STOMPIN10. And if you didn't hear before, the hemp oil will seal um, the paint like wax will. And it smells really like weirdly good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of smells like pickles in a way. It just kind of smells earthy, but there, there are no chemicals in it, so it's like super safe for the lungs. Uh, if you've got the kids running around and you're worried about it. See, that's just a nice, nice, nice finish. Yeah. How long to dry? 12 hours. 12 hours, Heather. And as you said, this is the, the, the front side that she's done. And um, it's starting to dry really good. All right. All right. Well, again, um, thanks for tuning in. Give us some likes and hearts and share this video. Um, if you liked any of the products that we used today, uh, go to www.countrychicpaint.com and use our coupon code STOMPIN10, S-T-O-P-I-N-1-0, to get an extra 10% off your purchase. So, okay. What will the finish look like with the oil? Is it shiny? Yes, it's going to be a little shiny. It'll dry a little bit, not as oily as it is, but it gives it just yeah. a nice finish. So we're actually getting ready to um, do the drawing for the two pints of the paint of your choice and the hemp oil and the oval brush. And the winner is, drum roll, da -da -da -da, <laughs> Amanda Sauters. So congratulations, Amanda. Mm -hmm. We really hope you love the paint because we <laughs> absolutely love it ourselves. Um, I hope you go crazy and do cat's meow and some funky colors and just can't get enough of it. So thank y'all so much for being a part of this. We really enjoyed it. Ellen, take it away. Oh, well, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> thank thank y'all so everything. much. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. You can always check out our page to see the finished product too because we're going to add the metallic yes. paint. I wanted to put that in there because mm -hmm. just in case if people wanted to see that. Right. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. Congrats, Amanda. <laughs> Congrats.